Welcome to a video from logislifestyle.com and in this video we're going to look at the next update to Windows 10 codenamed 19H2 uh, probably called the 1909 update um, and it could be due as soon as the end of September beginning of October so in this video I'm going to look at some of the changes and talk about what the update is and just for your reference I'm running here on the slow ring I'm running this there's the build 18362.10015 on release preview they're actually on 18363 but without the new features enabled so that's why I'm using the uh, my Surface Laptop 2 here uh, with 19H2 running on the slow ring previously Microsoft released two builds a year um, so you may have like the spring update the, then the fall update as Microsoft call them so like last year we had the 1803, then 1809, so 1803 being March 2018, 1809 being uh, October 2019, and so on, so well, September uh, 2018, and so on. So this year, Microsoft made a slight change to that approach. So we had the 1903 upgrade in, early on this year, and that was actually build 18362. With the build that's coming uh, soon, 19H2, codenamed second half of uh, 2019, Microsoft are not releasing a big update, they're releasing a, what's classed as a minor change really, which I think is probably a good thing. Uh, it's really, this update is really about stability, minor performance improvements and uh, reliability, especially for enterprises wanting to uh, roll out Windows 10. You know you've got a, a, a build that's been, or a, an update that's been tested thoroughly and by basing this on the 1903 update you know you're going to have a stable uh, development. So what does that mean for an end user looking at what this update brings down? Well there's actually a few, only a few UI changes and there's some under the hood changes. If you go into the calendar here for example you can create a new event straight away like that and it puts it straight in. It's something you couldn't do in the, in the other builds. So there's little changes like that that they've done um, a lot of changes around the settings on notifications. For example, you can go into um, and to do manage notice, manage notifications, and it takes you straight, takes you straight to the notification settings. And this new view now shows you the most recent notifications, so that they're the notifications that come through, and they're the most recent ones. If I go into the app, it shows you what the notifications look like as well. And you can even get at the notification settings when they appear. I'll try and send one through so we can, we can take a look at that. Another option there yeah, you've got is to enable sound as well. Just little new things like that. When notifications do come through, I've seen a couple of none have popped up yet. Uh, there is a, as they appear in the, the toast down here, there's a little cog that takes you to these se settings as well. There we go. We saw one then. Yeah, see the little cog on there. I don't know, it was just a bit small size. Maybe we'll see another one through in a second. But there we go, we can go to settings. And we've got the option of going to turning that notification off. So if you keep getting alerts for that particular app, you can just turn it straight off or you can go to settings. Well, the rest of the changes are all pretty minor under the hood. There's things like um, an allowing a digital assistants to run under the lock screen in the way that Cortana is so you could have um, an Alexa running with the same run privileges as um, Cortana as well so you could see the Amazon Alexa integrated the start menu for logging in and all that kind of thing so I listed some of the other changes on this article uh, so there's like debugging capabilities and CPU changes and a lot of things for OEMs to improve the reliability of Windows and some enterprise stuff for controlling uh, policies and Active Directory and that kind of thing and some developer stuff like co containers so there isn't actually a huge amount of changes uh, for the end user which is probably a good thing it means Windows stays stable um, you're not going to get bamboozled with new features and the new features will come next year with 20H1 which is already in test for Windows Insiders on the fast ring and I've got plenty of videos of that on our YouTube channel but if you're getting this new build uh, as part of the October 2019 update or uh, 19H2 as it's codenamed 
there's just these minor changes to help improve Windows and make it better for enterprises to roll out and the whole thing works more reliably. So you can, uh, I'll update this if I find any new stuff. You can follow me on Twitter at Ice Dixon on the and uh, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.